Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of medullary nephrocalcinosis. A middle-aged female patient came with low back pain. She had a history of passage of stone-like structures with urine. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the longitudinal section of the right kidney showing the increased echogenicity of the medullary region. Here you can see a hyperechogenic tiny structure at the caliceal system casting faint posterior shadow. This diffuse increase in echogenicity of the medulla indicates nephrocalcinosis. If you magnify the image, you can see the tiny hyperechogenic structure here casting faint posterior shadow. The increased echogenicity of the medulla is also associated with faint acoustic shadows. Usually medullar nephrocalcinosis is due to hyperpathogenism and will affect both kidneys. We have checked the left kidney from the back of the patient. You can see increased medullary echogenicity is also seen here. These increased echogenic areas are also casting faint acoustic shadows. So this ultimately ends as a diagnosis of bilateral medullary nephrocalcinosis. Here is the longitudinal section of the right kidney with a tiny structure at the caliceal system casting faint acoustic shadow and generalized increased echogenicity of the renal medulla. Here is the left kidney and you can also see the increased echogenicity of the medulla and the posterior aspect shows faint acoustic shadows. So in summary, bilateral renal medullary echogenicity is increased, indicating medullary nephrocalcinosis. A tiny echogenic focus is noted in right renal caliceal system casting faint acoustic shadow, indicating tiny calculus. Now the take-home message. In a patient with generalized bony pain and nephrocalcinosis, don't forget to check the neck to see the enlarged parathyroid glands, though it may not be visualized always. Usually, we don't see parathyroid glands in normal patients quite commonly. So, if you find any case of nephrocalcinosis, don't forget to check that. You may ask me about what was the situation of this patient's parathyroid gland. We have scanned the thyroid gland of this patient. There are multiple solid, cystic and complex nodules within both thyroid lobes. However, no definite parathyroid enlargement could be visualized. So, we have missed that, but you may not. So, don't forget to change parathyroids in patients with medullary nephrocalcinosis, though it may have different causes also. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe this YouTube channel for more contents. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.